and you just kind of micromanage things, you know, they kind of live their lives as game developers. You just gotta deal with it, you know? Oh, Senga! Yes, instead of Sega, it's Senga. It's going to be announced on a new console. This happens every once in a while. Oh, nice! The Exodus! <laughs> instead of the Genesis, that's awesome. And we might have enough money to develop for that console after this game release. We'll see. So now we're at the beta, we're going to pay attention to the sound. Um, we do have two people on staff that actually used to have, uh, they have at least one level of musicianship, so uh, we can use one of them if we want. And I figure we might as well, this game's going to be shitty, so what's the point of uh, <laughs> spending some money to... Uh, make this sound a little bit better when it's not really going to affect the sales that much, you know, so why not? Okay. Obviously, she doesn't have very high music rating because it would have ended up a lot better if, if she did, so... So yeah, anyways, the reason why the energy is like the main thing I base my staff on is because that's like the one stat of theirs you cannot level up, and the energy determines how long they'll work before they, you know, walk away and, and you know, quit working for the day. They always come back, of course, but you know, if they're leaving and going a lot, you know, then they're not contributing as much as they can to the, to the project, so that's ultimately, yeah. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and name our game Zoo Race, because isn't that a fantastic game? <laughs> and here comes the review scores. <laughs> uh, these critics clearly were not as hard on the game as I was. <laughs> uh, a 4 or a 6 out of 10? I don't think so. That game was terrible. You can watch my video on YouTube if you don't believe me, so, yeah. So anyways, we're done with that project, and so the team's not doing anything now. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just do another contract. Because um, it pays a lot of money in the early part of the game, and it gives us research data, which levels up our characters. So, yeah. And occasionally you get these questions, and 9 times out of 10, it'll always be shitty at the ability whenever... Yeah, so just, I usually ignore that until, like, the later part of the game. Oh, yeah. We got some fan base, surprisingly. I guess we'll spend a little money on advertising. We'll do some ads. This will help sell the game a little bit. And future games, so why not? We'll just do those ads for now. We don't want to spend too much on Zoo Race. It's a failure of a project. <laughs> we just want to put it behind us now. Alright, we were number 28. <laughs> on our first week of sales, yeah. That's pretty bad. But you can see it's raking in a little money. Oh. Okay, well... It's not what I meant to do. Stop it! Okay. Did I... Ah! Why won't you... Oh, that's right, because it's... You, it emulates touch screen, so it's to hold the button and move. So here's where Zoo Race's sales are at right now. You know, five weeks in, and we're at about 50,000 units. In real game development terms, that's awful. <laughs> you know, that would be enough to close a game studio. But fortunately, 
the game's pretty lenient at the beginning with that because everybody else starts off pretty crappy too. You know, there's other game companies you compete with. So, yeah. But you, unfortunately, the game doesn't have any way of showing that to you, uh, which is a shame. But we're going to go ahead and hop on to the console race now. We're going with uh, Senga because it's the best console it's out right now. You know, it's got the one that's got the most units sold, so that's going to get us the best sales, and that's going to help us make money quickly, so. So yeah, we're totally making a Senga game. And, uh, let's see. What kind of game do we want to make? Let's see what kind of genres we have to choose from. I guess we'll do a puzzle title. It'll be cheap to make. Um... Animal Puzzle. I know we already done Animal, but Animal Puzzle seems to work good together. So, that's what we'll make. Actually, uh, before we uh, do that, we're going to level up the staff real quick, just so we can get a couple of things here. Um, the sound does stop like this, too, and like whenever... Uh, yeah, so, okay, let's go ahead and just level up uh, our riders here, because the riders build up creativity stats, which um, actually go a little more towards the quality of the game than the fun factor. Uh, I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but um, I guess in a way it does, because a game can easily be fun, creativity is a little more uh, hard to find, I guess, in a video game, so that's probably why they do that. So, whatever. Okay, now we'll go ahead and start development of the new game. So, everything's saved for us already, of course. So, And, you know, you don't usually want to use the same rider every time because their ability is, like, lessened a little bit. But for some reason, it doesn't list her as previous anymore. So we're not going to get any penalty by using her. So we'll go ahead and use her. I must have been some kind of bug, I guess, from backing out of there. I don't know. Okay, I think the numbers were about the same as last time, but puzzles not as big of a genre as racing, I guess. I know the ratings are different, but the ratings can change based on certain things you do. Because um, we level our people, we got action and shooter genres, which it's shooter like probably like side scrolling shooters like that. Or, well, this is a Japanese game, so I'm sure it could be for FPSs because they're not big in the FPSs. Zoo Race. <laughs> the epic classic. <laughs> We're probably going to hire some new staff again in a little while. So, yeah. Um, you know, gonna, I, I like to constantly cycle on staff whenever I can. And I also like to keep my money spent at the beginning. And the reason why is because when you reach a certain threshold of money, the game asks you to uh, upgrade your offices, which you do want to do. But in the early game, it makes uh, acquiring certain items more expensive than it has to be because the item's cost increases whenever you you know get a new office. So... I try to delay that as much as possible. Because, I mean, you can hire more people when you get a new office. You know, you get a bigger office. But everything else will cost more, too. So, I try to get some core things established before I do that. So, yeah. Uh, so far, the ratings in this game are looking a little bit better than uh, Zoo Race. So, it might sell a little bit better because of that. And also because we're going to be publishing on a console. So, we'll have better sales, ideally. So, first year of the game, the government pays for our salaries. If only that would uh, be true of any game company, right? <laughs> like uh, uh, Kurt Sch Schroeder's uh, game company or whatever. You know, the freaking baseball player douchebag. Not not saying play baseball players are douchebags, but he is a douchebag. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say, yeah. So, yeah. It's a crappy game nobody cares about, so we'll just use the same musician again. <laughs> I guess it's good enough. Yeah, it is. It's a freaking 
competitor like Big Ricks or something like that. So yeah, who cares about this game? Nobody is gonna buy it. <laughs> you know, except for like, you know, old little grandmas that don't know that LJ and Two is a shitty company. So they buy their kid. Oh yeah, it's a game. 